Hi, I'm going to show you how to set up Multilink PPP. So, MLPPP is just a protocol and allows you to load balance frames. It actually splits it up the actual packet. So, when it comes in to the router and it goes out this way, it actually splits it up into fragments here. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And then it reassembles it on the other side. So, that's pretty interesting. So there are only two parts to setting it up. You create the multi-link virtual interface. This is the layer three interface, all the logic's done here. And then you tie this to the physical interfaces here. Two major steps to layer one, layer one interfaces, slash layer two here. So let's break it down. Interface multi-link one, you create the multi-link interface. You do encapsulation PPP, which is a little odd because this is a layer three interface. It's a layer two command doing in there. You're not allowed. <laughs> well, that's just go for you. But it doesn't show up, at least on my router, in the running config. It's probably the default, but put it in there. Then you enable the multi-link PPP. Then you give it a group number. So that ties it, allows it to be tied to these interfaces here. Later on, you'll see. And they have to be the same. So if you pick one for the interface, the group has to be one. If you chose three, this is three. And that goes for this, uh, the same on the other side. <laughs> so uh, we chose one. So on the other side, when we create that virtual multi-link interface, it's going to be one, and the group is going to be one. So they have to match on both sides, R1 and R2. So we'll go to the interface. Make sure there's no IP address because the logic is done on the virtual one. Do encapsulation PPP, enable the multi-link PPP, and then tie it to the group. PPP multi-link group one. So it gets tied to here. And you do that for both interfaces, right? If you only did it to one, then it's kind of pointless. You want more than one. That's the whole point of the protocol. <laughs> so let's go ahead and set this up. So interface multi-link. Actually, we got to be in global config configuration multi-link one encapsulation ppp ppp multi-link ppp multi-link group one and one other thing you assign an ip address right because this is a layer three interface so i gave this one in two one six eight zero one slash twenty four and this side over here is dot two on that virtual interface over there so all that routing, all that logic is done here, not on the physical interfaces. It just gets tied and uses them. So IP address, 192.168.0.1. So let's go to the physical interfaces. Encapsulation, PPP, PPP multi-link, PPP multi-link, group, one no shoe on it. Exit. Go to interface zero slash one. So we do the same thing. Encapsulation PPP PPP multi-link to enable it. And then what virtual interface is it tied to? And no shoe. Turn it on. And that's it. That is set up command wise. So let's see if it's actually working. Let's run some show commands. So handy one is show PPP all. Actually, let's do show IP interface brief. First, as you can see, the multi-link interface is up. You can see it has an IP address. You can see also the two serial interfaces. No IP address is assigned, but they're both up and up. So let's do show PPP all. Not too many else. <laughs> you can see. PPP, what negotiated, what was negotiated for the serial and for the multi-link and the remote peer address, dot two on the other side, show PPP multi-link. This is handy. You can see the R name is R1, the remote end is R2, some statistics, and the important piece are these two right here. So what virtual what physical interfaces are tied to this multi-link interface right here. So this is really handy. And if this says it's down or not here, 
that means that you're missing a command for the physical interface. Somehow it's not up or it's not tied to it. Not, it doesn't have the right group number. Something's missing here. Could be a, a few a few different reasons. So show IP route. We can see it uses, look at that, that's pretty cool, the multi-link interface. So if you need to route using that multi-link, so it's one virtual interface, again, it's one interface, this thing that does the logic and it splits the packets up, the frames, between both serial links for basically load balancing. <laughs> and that's pretty much it for the show commands. But uh, so we configured it. We used some show commands to see if it was working. Great for troubleshooting. So let's actually test it. All of this is worthless if it doesn't work, right? Am I right? <laughs> so let's do an extended ping command. IP. So let's ping the other side, which is dot two. Uh, repeat. Let's do 5,000 times because I don't want it to do just five. Let's make it 1,500, the packet size. Make it big, otherwise it'll go too fast and it'll just be dumb before I can actually do anything. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. It's good. So there we go, exclamation points means the pings are working. So let's say, for example, an IT guy or unplugged the wrong port here and like, whoops, as you can see your face, not good. <laughs> or a port fried or somehow it went down. So let's unplug one of them on the router. Let's see what happens. I'm going to unplug one. Whoops. I unplugged something. You can see it's down. Oh, it came back up. Look at that. It's pinging again. So again, load balancing and redundancy. So if something goes down, the bits keep on flowing and the customers are happy. <laughs> so let's cancel this. Control Shift 6. Get out of there. So let's see what happened when I unplugged one of those ports. So something happened, as you can see, and it came back up, which is good. So it's working. Show IP interface brief. You can see oh, one of them went down. It was the 010 interface on R1. Show PPP all. You can see we're missing that serial interface. We only got the other one. Show PPP multilink. You can see, ah, uh, it's inactive. So something happened to that interface. <laughs> so as you can see, it worked. Yes. Let's plug it back in, see what happens. So I'll plug it back in. Wait for it to come up. Let's see. It's doing its thing. can see oh it came up so in any state it's in as long as there's one as long as there's one port it should be able to ping and send traffic to the other side which is really cool so let's see show IP show IP interface brief you can see oh look it came back up again the interfaces the other one and show PPP all you can see ah oh, it came back show PPP multilink Yay, it's back. Yay. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Again, create the virtual interface, layer three interface, and then tie it to the physical ones. So I hope that was helpful, and thank you for watching.